hello my lovelies okay so we're gonna try and make a 3d envelope card hi margaret so what i've done is i have <laughs> sat here today as you can see and hi scarlet <laughs> um yeah so what i've done is i've sat here today and i've drawn it out onto my onto my i love this paper this pad is awesome for when you need to do some blending you can just do it on there's just a bit of scrap paper but it has all the measurements on it and on the other side is the inches so what i'll do is i'll turn it over and i will convert this into inches and i will put all the measurements onto my facebook page so before we start i am woo from woo's creations hi mom and i am a stampin up demonstrator and i live uh in wales in the uk i go live every saturday at 8 30 p.m but if you're watching this over on youtube i do load all of my videos up um when i can um because facebook does make it slightly tricky to download things these days and i upload to youtube as soon as i can possibly manage it now we do <laughs> yes margaret i know i've just sat there and i've had my little brain going it's quite funny but there is a few bits on there i need to adjust so when i make this one it'll all become clear hi lisa so i really like 3d cards as you might have guessed 3d cards and scene building so this is so what um so what i've done is i've made one um earlier this week for my husband's nan so she's had that today so i could actually <laughs> make the card tonight so what i've done is i've i've stamped some flowing flowers and i fussy cut them out and then i've also got some forever fern that i've used the dies to cut out um, also some of these but i will be blending on these to make them match then i have a couple of things left over that's a ranunculus romance stamp on the butterfly brilliance cut out that's from the meadow dies you know just a few general that's from the ranunculus romance those bits there i need that for my little envelope shape so yeah so i've cut out lots of bits anyway so that i can have a stuffed envelope should we just call it a stuffed envelope okay so right let me get me me trimmer out the only problem with this is that i've written it down on here maybe we'll move this out of the way just for well i would but i've got nowhere to put it hold on a sec take the top sheet off and put it on my laptop throw the other bit on the floor <laughs> Because I know, you know, when you run out of desk space, the floor is the only way to go. Right, so 18 centimetres by 16 centimetres. Okay, that was a lot quicker than the last time, wasn't it? So then, with the long side at the top, yes, long side at the top, you are going to score each side at one and a half and then you're going to mark at nine centimeters across the top on the side that's got the score you're going to score you're going to mark it at eight and a half centimeters you can just do that so there eight and a half and then eight and a half and then you're going to put the two points in this time we're going to get it right i promise <laughs> oh we're going to cut it not score it right put the points in there chop it off 
that's better right so your scoring should be at the sides <sighs> it's been a long day so i'm just going to rub oh, i'm going to where's me thingy there it is so like i said before it's not you have to just sort of judge where the why is that not cut in oh it won't go in it's not a, it's not cornered enough never mind it's fine okay so that is your um back piece so obviously this would be your flap of your envelope up there so then we're going to take the piece that we cut off and we are going to cut it to 18 long by eight and a half centimetres tall and then either end is going to be scored at one and a half like so so then you have your back and your front and then you're just going to take a piece of scrap. Actually, I think we'll use this one. And you're going to do it again. You're going to make it like maybe, I don't know, one mil smaller. So it's going to be one mil under 18, just a tiny or one sixteenth under an inch if you if you need to do that it's basically when i made it before because obviously when you fold over when you fold hi Anne. 745 in new zealand new zealand it's 844 p.m in the uk so like i was going to say once you fold these over and you glue them together it does make the inside of that part slightly smaller so when you go to glue this in if you do them all exactly the same size this bows and it doesn't stay up that's what i found on the other card i made so i'm gonna make it like one mil smaller and see if that helps if it doesn't we'll go two mil smaller on the next time i make it <laughs> so you know but oh goodness right so we're gonna score it again but this time Oh, oh hang on we're not sorry scrap that we're, we're cutting this one at 17 because i don't want it to be the same depth as the other ones because otherwise you'll end up with it it'll either be at the back or the front i want this to be kind of in the middle so we've got three little places to glue things on so i've cut this one at 17 minus one and a bit mil just like that so then we're going to go on this end and score at one centimeter and we're going to go this end and score at one centimeter i think that's right it looks right i'm you know we're going to pray that's right <laughs> okay so there's our base layers <sighs> okay we're going to go back to plan a Oh my good! I'm so sorry, guys. This is not my usual thing. This is because I've literally made this today, measured it out, written down all the instructions. I'm just going to do that. Oh, I'll cut it off because I've only got to move it down a little tiny bit. Oh dear. This is what happens when Wendy gets tired. I think I should do my lives at like seven o'clock in the morning, maybe. Okay, so we want that to be roughly, it doesn't have to go all the way to the very bottom of the envelope because the front is going to be covered. <sighs> Sorry, Mum. I know. If I write it down, I'll write it down in, in instructions and exactly what you need to do. So that is going to go on there because the sides are going to fold in 
but I need to trim off a little tiny bit off both sides. So this is going to be the front of this. It's not the front of the card, is it, Wendy? No, it's not. Right, when I've done this, because I've given the other card away, I can't even measure the pieces. But I'll have this one <laughs> to measure. So, right, there we go. Right, now I can glue that on there. So I am going to rub that bit out because it sticks, sticks out the top. Right, we need some glue. Let's get some glue. It's just because that other paper didn't want to be used. That's what it was. I have grabbed the worst glue in the whole entire thing. Okay, swap glues. You know that that whole... I can't get rid of it yet because I'm sure I can get a bit more out of it. <laughs> that's, that's where I am right now. Okay. So I'm going to stick that on there as straight as my brain and my eyes can do it. And I am going to go, I think I've left my pencil mark on there, look. <laughs> right, there we go, right. <laughs> There's the back. And then for the front, we are literally going to cut a piece. That is going to be, is it eight centimetres that way by 14 and a half. See, look, I can do this bit. It's that peaky bit. That's what it is. So, and then that will go on the front. And I love my little clean white border. So that is going to go on here. Straight. So I'm not going to glue it all together until I'm sure that everything that needs putting on is on. So then that is going to go on the front of there, like so. Loaded. It, I don't know if you like, I don't know what... To, I, yeah, I don't know what I what I do as far as that's concerned, but I just liked it like that. So it was fine for me. If you bothered, then you might want to rejig it a bit, but I just couldn't. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to burnish each end of this one, which is just my gluing panel for my flowers. So we're going to pop that away for a minute. And we're going to bring it straight back in <laughs> because I need, uh, let's have a look. So we need two centimetres and then split it down the middle to one centimetre. And then I want them both to be exactly that size perfect so then these two so that can finish off my edges as well so i don't want the sides to look odd i will put a little bit of glue on there and i'm going to grab my reverse tweezers make sure my writing's up the right way helps if I can see what I'm doing really to be honest and I've got my reading glasses on and I still can't see there we go it's all right so one on that end A 
Okay. Are you still seeing me? Because I'm still on the screen. And I'm still showing us live. Yeah. Hi, Christine. Oh, thank you, Janice. Oh, thank you, Anne. <laughs> I thought I just disappeared off everyone's screens or something. Right, so when I put this into it now, I will be putting it... No, I'm going to fold it the other way. Or I could have just turned it round, but, you know, just to be my usual awkward self. I'm going to put it in like a so. And then when I glue it on, hopefully it will hold it nice and straight. Nothing more annoying. Okay, so let's put this in and I want it quite high up no I don't I want to cut and I've done it again because I forgot earlier on as well hold on my daughter is messaging me asking about her doggies and actually I've got two dogs in the room with me right now you'd never believe it but they're both flat out on the bed so what I was supposed to do, I think I must be flustered or something. I don't know what's going on tonight. Okay. There it is. So this is out of the basic border dies. And I thought it looked pretty good as a little, a little bit you can see inside of an envelope. Now, if my brain was working, I would have cut this bit out before put in the, the layer on so I won't have a white border at the top but to be honest once I put flowers and that on it on my other card because I did it on the other one as well because you know consistency and all that kind of thing um I didn't really I didn't really notice after I'd done it so let me just bring in my monster of a big of my big shot and my very nasty looking plates <laughs> They're not the best plates in the world because my machine is so old. There's my lovely little piece of cardstock. There's my matting layer to make it cut because, you know, let's make sure I've got this up the right way. No, oh, it's upside down. That's better. Right, so that's the right way up. That needs to go there. So I'm trying to make sure I go to the edge so I'm not cutting off too much of my corner piece of heavy doodle tape just there oh I see oh okay <laughs> I have Christine I've uh, basically I've made this card today not today the other day and I did write down all the in instructions and I did even check it through earlier but it's fine because once I've done this, I can write it out again and it'll be perfect. And then I can share it with you all. Okay, so let me see if this has worked because obviously it's going through two pieces of DSP. No! Right, let's move that out of the way. Let's put the big shot back on the shelf. There we go. Right. Now, so that is going to go like that. Can you see? Yes, yes. So if you wanted to, you could put an extra panel on the back. So all I was going to do, if I had a piece here, um, what I'll do is I'll just cut a piece of this and I will just put some kind of a square in the middle. But you could just cut it there again if you like if you're feeling brave just do that <laughs> but I didn't want to make the back too heavy because this isn't very deep I was a little bit worried it wasn't going to stand up so okay 
Okay, right, let's get this on. Right, was there anything else I need to do before I start gluing this down? I don't think so. Okay. So I am going to put it... So where that is there... Okay, so it is pretty much to the bottom. So there we go. And then the other end. So I'm going to squash that down. Oh, look, Wendy, you're just messing it up now. There we go. Right, and then fold that over that way. Put that down there. And fold that over. And if you do it like this, in theory, <laughs> it should all stay like opening and closing and going flat and everything as it should. But you know, this is Wendy we're talking about. There we go. Right, so now I'm going to put the front on. line it up on that edge across the bottom and then fold it the other way make it all nice and flat so then inside you've got your little thing here so that you can make the flowers and things stand up a bit now my plan let's get some of these out right I don't want that for a second don't need that for a second I have a lot because you know I need lots to choose from that's what it is so the plan that I have is to make like a little like a little flower flower burst So let's lay it on our card and see. So it will be popped up a bit. So we've got to decide what's going to be our back layer. So I think what we'll do is we'll have some of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my piece of... Because my workings out and that are on this, it doesn't matter if I... So I'm not going to ink it up because chances are, see, there's enough ink on there from the last time I used it. Just to give them a little bit of colour. Now I want that to be a nice colour like a lemon or something. So there's this one. Make that one really light, like that. And then there's one more. And I may not use all of these right now, but some of these were already cut, and all I've done is gone in my box of... I've got a box that's got lots of sections, and I have florals in one, and um, leaves in another, and then I just rummage and just take out all the ones I've got that might come in handy, and then I throw them all in a pot. I really like this one. I would like to use it. So let's have a look. Bring this in. So I want some foliage in the background. So I'm going to do that. I'm trying not to go over the. Although one, you you can go one way or the other, but you have to decide which way. So I make sure I'm in camera. Which way you're going to go because you need to make sure that you're you're going to be putting it in your envelope that way because you don't want to be overhanging this side 
lean it that way and then you end up with bent leaves when you send it to your friend or family or whoever so don't worry about the stalk showing here because by the time we've finished you will not see them so this is Tombow in a more in a precision bottle uh, I have been using it today so it better work <laughs> there we go so then I'm not sticking the very top of the leaves just the lower ones oh. keep getting notifications on my messenger <laughs> it's like no not now I'm busy you're disturbing me right so there we go so that's going to go on that side like this so now with these ones what I'm going to do I'm going to get my granny apple green stamp and blend and I'm just going to do the stalks like that and then I'm going to take my yellow blending brush and it it changes the colour of the granny apple green at the same time as blending the leaves so it makes it more subtle so I like these they're like little starbursts so I like that so I'm going to do the other two as well and then we'll probably use all of them because you know they're super duper cool I mean I'm only doing it roughly I'm not being expertly making sure I've got being politically correct with all of my green bits and floral bits there we go and I'm only using whatever's on this yellow one which I think might be pumpkin pie I do like blending with pumpkin pie it's rather nice right so those three are done we do have this big one which could go right up there because it does fit into if I can remember where I've put the envelopes okay I'm just gonna get an A an A5 card to show you oh maybe that's not A5 because it, <laughs> I put Nana's card in an A5 envelope and it fit. I'm sure it's the same size as this. But anyway, you could make your own little box, actually, couldn't you? Which I think would look rather cool. So that's going to go in the middle. And then that will be my foliage background done. Then it's a case of building up my florals. Right, so we don't want to go any higher than there. But I'm sticking the stalks down on the base but I've left all the leaves loose so then we can bring in a couple of these and possibly one of those and then we're just auditioning all these extra pieces So when you think that that flower is going to go there, oh, got it stuck. That flower will go. Maybe we'll go out from the middle, like so. And then we could have. And we're going to build them up. We're going to build them up. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I think these two will go down on the back with possibly some leaves <laughs> one of the dogs is dreaming <laughs> 
probably dreaming about her mummy partying at a wedding. <laughs> I've put the glue on the wrong side. Do you know what? It's just typical. Okay, change your plan. I'm just going to put that leaf out of the way and I'm going to grab these two instead. I'm doing it again, putting it on the wrong side. There we go. That's very true, Christine, you're right. If I cut them from glimmer paper or something, maybe. So, right, that's those two. And then maybe... Okay, okay, we need some dimensionalies now. Let's... Oh, look, we've got a nice shiny new packet. Oh, actually, love this trick. Trim down the side. Make sure you've trimmed it properly because, you know, this is me we're talking about. And I, oh, I've only missed one little tiny piece. And then you can just slide them in and out. Okay, so let's pick it up. Put few dimensionals on there and then we've still got room to slot things in if we want to add a little bit more foliage okay so that's going to go there come on Wendy <laughs> get a grip that's it, right, that's right, because we're going to have some bits here and I don't want it to cover the flower. So I'm putting them slightly higher than I would have if it was just one layer. So. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Christine, honestly. Right, so lift that up, put that one there. Then we have this one, which I think we'll put in the middle. So that can go on there. So it was approximately there and down the stalk. And then pop it on like so. Oh, fingers are all sticky now. We knew this was going to happen. This is me we're talking about. I always get covered in glue. Doesn't matter if I use a precision one or not. Does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> right. Didn't hold that long enough then, did I? Oh. Okay. So then, maybe we could have that literally... there I have to keep standing it up to check okay so maybe have a look. Oh, 
one there. So we think our little starry ones. I'm going to put one here because I think it's just totally awesome and beautiful. And I'm going to put another one here. But I'd like it to stand out a bit. Although it's not going to be much supporting that, actually. So, I think what I'm going to do is cheat. Because, you know, that's how we roll around here. So, I'm going to put some glue on my little... And then stick it to a larger piece. And then I glue this bit into place in there although I think I did it maybe a bit too high with the glue okay too much glue too much glue hang on I just wipe my hand oh dear Let's have a look. Try again. So that is going to go down there and stick this bit. I may stick something else in front of it and then that will help use up the glue that I've put that's too much because, you know, this is just what happens. It's not the end of the world. There we go. Right, so then I'm thinking we'll have that coming down here. So I'm just going to cut this one off and then put a little bit of glue on this side and then glue up that bit and then slot it there. And then it'll look like it's trailing down the front, like so. That's waste not, want not, isn't it? So I'll put that on there as well. <coughs> Hello. 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 He's fine. It's only the kids. He's going to bed. It's all good. I'm pretty sure she's scared of her own shadow. <laughs> she barks at everything. Unknown noise, bark. Slightest anything, bark. Right, let me just stand this up so I can see. Okay, I need something there. What should we have there? I wonder if that would look good there like that and then what else have we got we've got that leaf that I managed to glue the wrong side that could go there and then maybe we need so tweezers are always good because you can lift things to try and slot bits in so a bit of glue lift oh underneath them Wendy not on top slot that in there So then you've got like a nice 3D and it'll fold flat like so. Too much, too much, too much, too much. 
Maybe just that. No, too much. Don't like it. Do we have anything else? Anybody? Anybody? No, don't want another flower. About oh, some leafage. Hold that thought. Well, I just cut these out. Morning, Carol. I know I'm doggy sitting for my eldest's two puppies because she had a wedding this weekend so hello <laughs> hello sorry i'm intercepting her before she starts barking again and makes us all go deaf hello you're all right <coughs> oh <laughs> so hello that's enough it's okay you're all right. <laughs> hello. Hello. That's enough. Right, so this one's going to go here. Oh, I think that'll do nicely. Hello. You are fine. So I'm thinking maybe a butterfly on there or over here and then i wonder i don't know if it'll fit if i'm honest but we're gonna gonna have a look nope that's not the happy birthday where's the happy birthday in there oh i'm already thinking it's not gonna fit hello hello mm. i don't reckon Ooh. might chop it off a bit actually Okay, I'm just going to have a go, because if it doesn't fit, we can think of something else, can't we? So I am going to put that on there, because I really like that butterfly. Um, I did have some more viney bits on the other card, but that's fine. It's fine. It doesn't have to be the same. Right. Uh, I think I'll do it Night of Navy. Oh no, the gap is where my sentiment's going. So I don't need to... Um, I'm just going to take the... Very, the very... Just that pretty start of the H. Harlow. That's enough. Good girl. Right, I don't even know if I can see what I'm doing here, so we're just going to guess. <laughs> you know, because that's what I'm all about. Oh, it worked, guys. Look. Just took the little thing off the, the H so that it didn't look a bit odd. But actually, I think it would have been all right if I'd left it on. But there we go. Live and learn, live and learn. So that is going to go there, like so. And then we'll put the butterfly there. Or oh, should we put the butterfly? No, I think it should go there. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on and then we'll shape it a little bit once it's stuck. So these butterflies were already cut out. So like I say, every, most of the time... <laughs> If you are die cutting, if you are making some, you know, making flowers or anything, just cut some extra ones. Because then when you have a little idea, you think so that you don't have to be making everything from scratch. And then if your idea doesn't work, you get it because you spent all that time making it. Although, to be honest, I've never really had anything that hasn't worked. So it's fine. So that's going to go there. Now, should we maybe hold that thought while i have a look for what no I don't like that color where's me a blue 
just wondering if we could just tie a little bow on either end. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello. Uh -uh. Thank you. Right, so. I'm going to try and attempt to tie a bow. Wish me luck. Hello. You are all right. No one's coming to eat you. It's because the kids can't do anything without chatting. So if she can't see you, you're a threat. Okay, we're changing plans now because I can't get it. I can make bows. Look, and this ribbon makes itty bitty tiny bows and I love it. So I'm wondering, it's me squizzers, squizzy whizzers. Hmm, so I think someone's been cutting something with my scissors. There we go. So that will go there and then we could possibly just put that there. <gasps> that is so cute. I like it a lot. Right, we need a glue dot for that. I'm going to put this on with, I'm going to glue it on. That is what I'm going to do. Oh, get the fluff off. Find the middle-ish, somewhere near, you know, as you do. Like so. And then we are going to put our bow on with a glue dot. Look at that, you're impressed, aren't you? I just reached over and I grabbed my glue dots with no fuss whatsoever. <coughs> Morning, Vicky. We're all allowed to fall asleep, my love. It's fine. Right, let me just shape my wings a little tiny bit. don't like them being flat, 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 you know, flat, that flat, flat thing. Right, let me just throw a few things in a pot out of my way so that I can move this out of the way so that I can show you the card. Where's my bling blings? Here we go. I've got some matte, matte dots coming. So excited, can't wait. It's taking longer than usual. I'm praying it hasn't gotten lost. Okay, so my butterfly looks slightly weird with no body. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a big one where the head would be. And then I'm going to put a little trail. of the little because there's three sizes these are the iridescent rhinestones bakes basic jewels but they are so gorgeous um, and then when you put them onto a color it picks up that color so if you look at the big one there I don't know if you can tell on here but it's picked up the gorgeous grape that I've stamped the darker color in the the, the writing <sighs> it's time for bed <laughs> Okay, I think we can go one more. Let's go all out because we can and we've got new ones coming. So, you know. Okay, so we're going to put a couple more gems on here. So I might even randomly place a gem there. Oh, and maybe even a big gem. Just there. And a little gem, just there. So there we go. So if you lay it flat, you could probably you can probably still write on there. Look at that. Oh, hang on. Let me get SpongeBob out. Got a little bit of glue, glue residue, and um, you know this lovely lady that I know sent me a SpongeBob. <laughs> It's a silicon rubber. Okay. 
there we go so I will flap flap not flap flap <laughs> they are gorgeous aren't they right okay so that is that card done ski and it would have taken me less than an hour but you know faffing at the beginning but there we go. Anyway, so I will write them up like I have done before and I will post it onto my Facebook page. If you're watching on YouTube, there is a link below to my Facebook page. You can pop over and get the sheet with all the measurements for this. Um, it will be in centimetres and if I can work it out, I will try and put inches on there. But apologies if I haven't. Um, basically, we've used... Um, this one and this one from Ranunculus Romance. Oh, actually, we didn't use we didn't use that one in the end, so we've just used this one. Now, what we could do? Nope, it's in very vanilla, so we can't use that anyway. <coughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, I was going to put a little Paris shape or a little postage label thing. See, I'm so good with words so good <laughs> you're so impressed i can tell <laughs> so there we go right so yes we use ranunculus romance and then i also cut out a few um the die cuts but the standalone die the, the standalone dies so there's this one this is one of my favorites especially when you cut it out of like gold paper <gasps> it's awesome and that one is really nice too and when I did it with gold paper those lines that you can see there I think it must have been quite thick gold and the lines showed on it and it was oh, it was just stunning but forever fern is staying with us yay <laughs> and this is the basic borders Obviously, the one I used is somewhere on my desk. Um, these are the other shapes that are in that set. And they're also staying. And they're, I'm loving them. Didn't use them a lot when I first got them. But now I've got into it. We're away. Um, so that's that. Oh, and then Flowing Flowers. Which is in the January to June mini catalogue. So this one, I love it. But I have had to do stamp surgery on this flower and cut off the leaves and the dots. But then it's quite easy if I just show you. If I can remember which, which, which way they go. Hang on, it's probably easier to put this back on first. But when you put them back together... And you put them onto your your thing, onto your block. You will not notice that they've been cut apart once you stamp it, because they all stick onto the block together. So there we go. Just thought I'd show you that because some people are like, "Oh, stamp surgery! I can't possibly do that." <laughs> but that's up to you. If you don't want to cut it apart, then that's it's your stamp set. If you want to cut it apart, you go ahead. If you don't, then don't. So there we go. Right, thank you so much for watching, and any questions, just message me on here on Facebook. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do have 80-odd videos now, Ooh. and we're getting close to 400 follower, uh, follow, bleh, subscribers, so if you, if you subscribed, you'd be helping me out loads. Okay, thank you so much for watching, my lovelies. I will speak to you all very soon and hope you all have a lovely Easter weekend. I know we're halfway through, but tomorrow is the day and I shall see you all very soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.